Hi everybody, it's Kelly from The Y. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're all getting out and moving and enjoying the nice days when they're here. I know April showers um, will bring May flowers and hopefully we will be seeing flowers soon. Um, it's nice to see color in, uh, in the lawns and everything's greening up and leaves are coming out. So I hope you're getting out and enjoying as much of that as you can. Um, I don't know if you know this, but we are doing a build up to burpees challenge. And everybody's going probably like, oh, burpees. Burpees are great exercise. I don't know why more people don't like them. They're hard, but they're great workout. Um, so last week we did a little bit of the squat part of the challenge. Um, this week we're gonna be doing the um, push-up part of the challenge. So I'm gonna demonstrate different variations on push-ups okay and seeing all different things that you can do to modify when needed um, and everything counts okay so whatever you do any modifications that you make that's awesome you do what you can do this is your workout okay I'm gonna put me down for a second we're gonna use my entertainment center as the first aspect sorry um, and sorry about the glare again Ooh, kind of like Ooh. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I crack myself up. Anyway, we're going to do an elevated push-up and against my entertainment center. This, so this will be the first one. I'm going to check to see the angle. Okay, good. I, um, so hands are going to be about shoulder or width apart or wider. You want your gaze to be forward, not down. Bring it up. Stare forward ears, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles all in a straight line, down and up. Now you can use an entertainment center, a chair, the stairs, a wall, whatever angle works best for you, down and up. So go as low as you can. Now I'm going to move myself down. Okay, I'm gonna go down on the floor. So there's a couple of different versions of a push-up. So one can be on your knees. Once again, hands about shoulder width apart or a little bit further, feet down. Now, a lot of times people will pick up their feet. Um, that can throw your back off. So it's better if you do keep your feet down, but the rest of you, your ears, your shoulders, and your hips and your knees are in a nice straight line, down and up. Okay, you go as low as you can go. Any elbow bend counts. Um, and you might see as you get stronger, you're able to go a little bit lower. Now full on, you're gonna go up onto your toes. Once again, eye gaze forward in front of the hands, keeping that neck neutral, down and up. Okay, you do what you can do, modify however you need to, and then notice your progression, okay? Give yourself a round of applause when you go from an elevated push-up down to your, the floor on your knees. Um, but give yourself a round of applause anyway, because you deserve it. 